What's up everybody, it's Priyon Joni. So about a week ago, the company that manufactures my desk, Studio Desk, they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a demo video of their Ergo X studio chair. So of course I said, hell yeah. And um, they were gracious enough to send me one right here. So shout out to Studio Desk for sending me this chair. And today we're gonna unbox it, uh, assemble it, and put it together for you guys, and we're gonna show it to you. All right, here we go. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the headrest. Headrest. We have the wheels and the hardware right here. Got the backrest. The bottom base. And one of the things I'm actually looking for, which I don't think will be here, is the instructions, which I believe will be online, just like the studio desk. The base for the seat adjustment. I'm actually trying to see if I can do this within two hours because I gotta do some volunteer work for Thanksgiving <laughs> at the food bank. So just trying to be quick. This is the bottom part of the seat with the uh, armrest. So yeah, that's about all the parts. We're gonna go online and check out the instructions there. Okay, so it took me a little bit of time because it's a little hard to find it on their website. But when I went into my email, the link to the assembly videos were there. So now I can get started. Okay, so one cool thing I noticed was that in the instructions, it shows you how to put the armrest. But when this came to me, the armrests were already assembled onto the bottom base of the seat. Unfortunately, the armrests were pre-assembled on the wrong side, so I do have to remove them and just flip them over. Okay, so we're at about the final part where I take the chair and I put it on the base. All right, it's now fully assembled. Check it out. Looks pretty cool, really futuristic. Got the logo right there. So let's try this out and sit on it. A very firm bottom cushion. And one of the really cool things that I saw during assembly was there's a plastic part on the Lumbar support. I think it's called a lumbar support. You guys will correct me in the comments. But this piece supports you right here. So definitely better than my $50 IKEA chair. Uh, cool things with the armrest. You can angle them inward or outward. There's a little button underneath. The button lets you raise and lower it. This would be an awesome gaming chair. What's really nice is that uh, even when I recline, my back's still supported and it doesn't feel like there's a space here, which I love. Like even in a car, I have to sometimes add like a little pillow there, but not on this. Okay, another thing that um, I asked them about because I was asking about the chair was, um, will there be enough space for me to play guitar while in the chair. Now, the armrests don't fold away, but they do slide backwards. So let's try this out. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. Even though the armrest is here, I can sit fairly straight on the chair because on the on the IKEA chair that I had, I would have to be at this much of an angle just to avoid the armrest. And let's maybe set it all the way down. Now that it's all the way down, I can sit straight. <laughs> okay, so let's check out what it's like to actually, to actually sit on it on the desk. What's nice is with the music commander on the keyboard stand, this space actually adds a little bit of headroom so the armrest don't hit. So that's actually a good thing because I usually scuff my desk up when I'm using my old chair. But still gotta be careful if you have a keyboard there. Make sure you don't hit it. Yeah, this is a lot more comfortable. And the thing is, is that I've been sitting on this for about maybe 20 minutes now. And they usually after 15 minutes with the Ikea chair, which is softer actually on the bottom base, uh, I start getting fatigued. Like my arm starts to hurt right here. Now, uh, I haven't produced with it yet, but I'll give you guys updates how this chair is going as I start using it over time. Okay, so another thing I really like about this chair is the fact that it has this open material for the entire uh, backrest and headrest. And uh, that's a big advantage for someone like me because I tend to sweat when I get excited while I'm making music. So this is really, really good so that I don't end up like sweating too much, which is also good because I can easily clean this since I see it on both sides. I'm actually really happy that I didn't go with one of those racing seat chairs now because the neck support on this headrest is incredible. Those racing seat chairs, they kind of just like hit the top of your head and then maybe they'll give you a pillow <laughs> to put right here. And speaking of that pillow, a lot of them come with the pillow, the neck pillow, and then the lumbar support pillow. For this chair, it's totally unnecessary because it contours to your body, like from the top of your head all the way down to your lower back. Yeah, I love this chair. So yeah, I wanna thank Studio Desk for sending me their Ergo X studio chair. It's gonna be in all my videos now since it's in my studio. I will try this just for fun later on. Uh, try gaming with it, with my Xbox and see how I feel with it. So yeah, hope you guys like this video. If you got anything to add or any questions about the Ergo X chair from Studio Desk, be sure to leave it in the comments below. If it's your first time here and you found this helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click that little bell icon so that you get a notification as soon as I upload another video. Really appreciate you guys for watching. Take care.